Hey you right guys, Trace Punters Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 1 of One Tree Hill season 4. Fourth season, we have three seasons done, how many to go? Like 50 seasons or something, we have a, we have a while to go, but I really enjoyed season 3, I think it was the, like story wise it was the best season so far, I do think like the nostalgia and like early 2000s vibe of season 1 really hooked me as well, and like getting to know the characters, seeing the development with Nathan was really cool, but season 3 I think did a really good job with like Dan, as a storyline, I uh, had more like emotional episodes there, like with Peyton's mom, uh, obviously the school shooting episode, Keith dying, like he had more emotion in the third season and I felt like the relationships were there as well, like Lucas and Brooke were really good, uh, Peyton and Jake were de uh, decent even though he wasn't in a lot of the season, uh, you had obviously Haley and Nathan throughout, which is, they were back on form because they were so off base in season two, but uh, here in season three they kind of got back to where how I, feel, how I felt about them in season one. And I feel like the writers knew they made a mistake with how they did handled uh, Hayley and Nathan in season two. So they were just like, we need to get it back on <laughs> quickly. But they also paced it very well. It wasn't like episode one of season three, Nathan had forgiven Hayley and all, all was okay. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed season three. We're of course going to do a character tier list. Uh, so before we jump into the episode, just to see where characters have kind of moved. It'll be very quick. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my thoughts on characters just because uh, you, you know my thoughts on characters at this point but we'll do a quick tier list for sure so yeah episode one of season four guys if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to one tree hill then link to patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below by the time this episode's on youtube patreon will probably start season five <laughs> they're like as i'll record this they're an entire season ahead anyway so uh yeah they'll probably start season five and the Clips channel will be down below, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, so I, have I mentioned the Clips channel on One Tree Hill yet? I might not have. It's basically a channel where you get like clips from 10 to 30 seconds long from shows like One Tree Hill, Friends, This Is Us, all the shows that I do, um, daily uploads on there. So that'll be linked down below if you want to check that out. But for now, episode one of season four. And a character tier list, let's do that. Alright, so here we have the characters I could think of for season three. Uh, we have... Ellie here, dying. Um, searching up these characters, I had to put like One Tree Hill Season 3, Brooke for example, because I don't want to get spoilers or anything like that, and the images they gave me were horrendous. This was like, this is like the only image of Whitey that exists, I swear to God. Like I put Whitey and there was that image, and then every other character, like you just, you, there's no other images, I swear. Brooke, I had to go for one where she sat with Lucas, unfortunately, because again, Brooke just just had crap images so I'd, <laughs> uh, yeah and then skills as well I had crap images other than when she's with her uh, Bevin um, so yeah these are the characters we have uh, we've got go greatest of all times fantastic good met and terrible I can't be able to come up with witty names because we're just gonna bash on through this but we'll start with Keith I think it's a fantastic character um, I do think is had best maybe it was better in season one and you know it was kind of cut a little bit short but when he came back and he was in it, he was sick. I felt like he was such a great character. Like I said, he had big penis energy. He was just walking around. Didn't give a fuck anymore. He was just like, yeah, I'm Keith. What are you going to do about it, Dan? What are you going to do? And he, he just, that was his whole attitude for the entire season. Uh, and then he died, unfortunately. <laughs> Dan kind of shot him. But for the time he was in season three, I really liked him. I think he was on the path to being like a lot more interesting than he actually was. But I just felt like that was caught a little bit too short so uh yep really like keith i've both been fantastic and that's i guess that's where his final resting place will be is in the fantastic tier so whitey i'd say he's good uh i'm glad they kind of stopped trying to give him storylines at least in season three like he had his eye surgery in season two or one or whatever and then here it was just him being a coach and being there like i wanted him to be which is just a hype up luke's and nathan and get them on board to be in the characters they needed to be uh, and have a few moments in there, like where he's with Karen and other characters for sure. But I think, you know, for the most part, it kind of got annoying when he was just <laughs> involving his own storylines. But uh, yeah, liked him. This, he was good. Uh, Rachel. Um, I don't think she's terrible. I think she she's at her best, as I said, when she is going 1v1 against Brooke. When they tried to bring in her own storyline wasn't a fan and they tried to do it a couple of times and i'm just like no she's not that interesting of a character and i just felt like if they'd had the 1v1s with brooke and then they tried to make her likable and then gave her own storyline i'd have been more on board of it 
But during that time in between Brooke and having her in storyline, she was just being awful towards Mouth, giving shit advice to everyone, and she just was annoying. So it didn't make me care for her character and ultimately didn't care for her storyline. So I'll put her in there. I don't think she's terrible. I guess we'll find out in this in the next few minutes if she's going to be in season four or not, but I kind of hope not. I guess she will be because she was involved in like a big moment at the end of season three, so I guess she will be. Um, but I hope they give her a better storyline if we're going to... Or just work on a character, make her more interesting, I think, because we're not there yet. <laughs> uh, Bevin, she's cool. I like Bevin, probably above white, to be fair. She makes me laugh, and we we'll, might as well do skills. Skills is a bit better. I'd say probably just below Keith for me. He has more, obviously, he had season one and two under his belt, even though he wasn't in it much, but he does have those seasons. Bevin only really became a main character, not really a main character, but, you know, a side character in this season. But her relationship with Skills makes me laugh. I like those two. Um, Skills just has a bit more of a character about him than Bevin does, but those two together do make me laugh. Uh, Ellie, <laughs> die dying on the floor here. Uh, she... Uh, I'll go good, but bottom of good, I think... Oh, I don't know, maybe meh. Like, honestly, I felt like I really should have connected and liked her character more than I actually did. I just didn't find her that interesting, if I'm being honest. I don't know what they could have done to really change that, like, give her more screen time, maybe, but I just I just felt like the core of her character just wasn't someone that all that interested me. Like, I don't have... It's not like she's down here because I thought she was awful or anything like that. I guess she's being terrible at that, but... I just found it really kind of boring. Like, it was a good storyline to have for Peyton, for sure, but I just I didn't find it that interesting. And I've had comments on Patreon where people... I've not obviously uploaded these episodes to YouTube yet, but people did really like Ellie. Some people agreed. They just... I think she's that 50-50 kind of character. Like, either you really like Ellie or you're just not that into a character. And for me, I just fell on the side of her. I wasn't that bothered, to be honest. But, you know, she wasn't awful. Uh, what did the main characters last? So, Mouth... Um... He had ups and downs this season. Like I said, his relationship with Rachel, relationship if you can call it that, didn't care about that at all. I felt like she was just giving bad advice to him, but then he was being all dramatic. And, you know, I get as a kid who's, like, in love or whatever, but I just... I, I, he was at his best when he was being friends with everyone at the main cast and the situation with the school shooting. It actually got more emotion out of him, like, uh, with the actor... I felt was really good, but anything to do with Rachel, didn't care about. So I'm going to put it, I'll put him at fantastic, I think, probably above skills because he has had more, but I felt like he was more interesting. I don't know, like I felt like he was more interesting in this season when it was done well, but, and then, yeah, like that random episode where they went to his grandpa who had Alzheimer's, it was like, what, <laughs> what are we doing here? That was just felt a bit out of place. They're trying to, not out of place, but they're just trying to give it an episode for mouth, I guess, but never, never spoke of it ever again after that. He's a good character, but um, I feel like he should have been up here. He has potential to be up here, but he's being held back a bit. Uh, Deb, she kind of dipped out for half of this season. She was obviously the one who tried to kill Dan at the end of season two. Then was in the first half, disappeared for a lot of it, and then kind of came back towards the end. So I'm still going to say fantastic for me because I just love her. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I just love her to pieces, but she just wasn't in this season as much. So I guess she couldn't have done much this season to really bring down her character. That's probably what it is. Like, I guess season one and two, she was up here. I know for a fact she was. She was up there. She was like my favourite character. So I'll bring her down a little bit just because she wasn't in this season as much, but she's still really good for me. Oh, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I have tried with Karen. I have tried. She has slapped four people, by the way. Four people. She's slapped Dan. She's slapped Lucas. She's slapped Whitey. And she has slapped uh, ba -ba -ba Jules. Four people she has slapped. <laughs> just throw that. I don't think that'll be the last as well. So, Karen, I, I just cannot. I have tried. And there was, a mo there was a moment in this season where I was like, she is likeable. She's on the right track. Like, when Keith and her relationship was happening, I was like, yes. She's happy. And, you know, I'm not like Keith died and she suddenly got depressed about it and that's when I went off character. That's nothing to do with it, but she just took, went straight back to being an awful character and an awful person. So I can't. I'm done with her. I'm done. I'm sorry. I've tried. And you, I, I've told you I've tried because there have been episodes in season three where I've said, oh, my God, she's becoming a likable character. 
So you know I was like willing to give that chance to Karen again of like her being a really and she was my favourite character at the start of season one. Keep that in mind also. But I, I, I'm done with it. I can't be asked. Um, right, we're in the main mains now. Let's do. Ooh, let's start with Lucas. Uh, I'm gonna put you a good. He's like just the most basic good main character of any show I've ever watched. I think he's never moved from there. He doesn't do anything to really go like, oh my god, Lucas, that was such an amazing Lucas moment. He doesn't really have those moments. He's just he's just good. He just exists. He gets the plot moving forward. Like, I don't get... Like, Brooke and Payne being so in love with him, I'm just like, he's, he's not that bloody interesting. Like, come on. But he's fine, you know. I, even when, like, Keith died, I felt like there should have just been more emotion out of Chad Michael Murray, and there just wasn't. So it's just like, even moments where... There should have been more with his character, just isn't there. Like I say, he doesn't do anything where I'm like, he's a bad character. He never has, like, really awful moments, but he never really has, like, insane, incredible moments, even when you really think about it. Uh, so, he's a good character, but <laughs> I, don't, he's, I don't think he's ever moved from here. Uh, let's do... Hayley... The Opal Haley at the top. She's just so likeable. She's so better than so much better than she was in season two. My god. She does have moments where I feel like it does get a bit repetitive, like, oh yeah, her and Nathan are so in love. I get I do that is one hope I have with season four is to give Nathan and Haley more of like maybe their own storylines. which they have had in this season, but just more than them being in love. I still want them to be in love and have their romantic moments, sure, because they're great at that, but I hope it's not just that. Like, for all of season four, which it shouldn't be. We'll wait and see, but... Uh, for now, season three, love her. I mean, might as well just put Nathan up there as well while we're here. Like, he's... Unlike Lucas, I feel, I feel like he has that relationship with Hayley, but he's just... He's had more of a development. He's had more bigger moments. Like, he has this stuff with Dan, which is all, always great. Uh, so, he's going up there. He's, he's never really moved from here either. I just feel like he's... Nathan's been the most consistently great character throughout. I think like, we can always depend on Nathan to just be a really good character. So uh, Nathan's staying up there for now. Uh, Peyton. I'm still annoyed. We had like a big debate on Patreon about this. Well, not really. It was like a nice friendly debate, which I liked as well. But people were very disagreeable with my thoughts on Peyton. Uh, and then a lot of people were very agreeable on my thoughts of Peyton. Like, some people think that she absolutely should have told Brooke how she felt. And then people were, with my side of things with, you should not have told Brooke whatsoever. Like, I get it's going to be, like, hard <laughs> to see Brooke and Lucas together and to keep that to yourself. But Brooke is her best friend. Her best friend. And she knows for a fact how insecure Brooke is about the situation about the situation with Lucas and Peyton. Like, she's brought that up so many times, and there's been so many moments throughout the season where Brooke felt insecure, like when they had to share that bed at the hotel, uh, for example, and when they were close after the shooting, and when uh, Peyton, uh, when Lucas was there for Peyton after Ellie passed away, like, and you could tell she was uneasy about it, but let it slide. And then for Peyton to just come in and be like, yeah, I love Lucas, by the way, and he's probably going to find that out at the start of season four, and then probably leave Brooke. It's just like, oh. Peyton, you knew how she was going to react to this situation, like, calm the fuck on. I didn't agree with the slap, obviously, like, that was stupid, but uh, I'm, in the in the whole situation, I still do side with Brooke on that one. Well, not even side with Brooke, I just don't side with Peyton, if that makes sense, how she went about it. So, I'm still a bit tainted with Peyton, uh, with how she handled that whole situation at the end of Season 3. I get what people are saying, where it's like, she shouldn't have kept it to herself, because yes, that would hurt, but sometimes you just have to you just have to let things go. Or, like, if Brooke and Lucas don't work out, then let your feelings be known, sure. But don't do it when Brooke and Lucas are happy and then put Brooke in that situation. Like, I do think it was selfish of her. I'm standing by that. I'm sticking by that. I, I hear all the people's thoughts for sure. But for me, I mean, it hasn't ruined a character, just to be sure. She's not, like, down here or even down here. I do think she is a good character still. But I'm going to put her there. She was up here. She was in Fantastic. Then that last episode, I'm going to take her down a notch, just below Lucas. Um, at least Lucas did nothing. I don't think Lucas did anything throughout the season that really pissed me off. I think he treated Brooke poorly sometimes, but nothing to like that degree where it was 
ruined his character or whatever. It, again, it's not ruined the character. She can bring it back for sure, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> uh, Brooke, I love her. Again, she does have down moments where she kind of annoys me, but she's just such a happy presence to have on screen. She's so likeable. Uh, and storylines, I don't think, were the strongest this season. I do think they can do better with Brooke. But her relationship with Lucas really worked for me. Her friendship with Malf, her rivalry against Rachel was really interesting as well. Her friendship with Peyton, up to that last episode, her friendship with Peyton, her friendship with Haley. I feel like they're both, they both work really well. So I feel like Brooke, out of all the characters, she just has the most connections with all the characters and they all feel like they work the most. So Brooke's going to be up there. I love her to pieces, so... Best character though is Dan. <laughs> he just, he just, every time he's on the screen, you just don't know what's going to happen. Again, I feel like the killing of him killing Keith was a bit ridiculous. I get what people were saying where it's like he had so many reasons to do that, but to shoot him, I don't know. I felt like we needed a bit more. We never really got that this season as well. Like a big, we have reasons, I guess. Like he thought Keith was the one who tried to kill him without any real evidence really like you were on a theory of him buying some alcohol which was crap he saw him happy with karen sure i guess like yeah he slept with deb so, yeah. he, he has reasons but i just didn't buy him shooting him i just i still don't buy like that he turns to like this murderer all of a sudden like that's the one thing where i'm like actually you know what now i'm talking about it <laughs> but brooks better than dan I, I, brooks just amazing but I still love him. The fact that he can kill one of my favourite characters, Keith, who's in the second row, the fact that he can do that and still be at the top for me. You know, Paul Johansson, he didn't quite nail the... When he's trying to cry that gravestone, I felt it was a bit like, oh, come on. But he does nail the character of Dan. Uh, makes him hilarious. And you never know what he's going to get up to next. So I guess we'll see what Dan's going to get up to in Season 4. But yeah, that is my list as of right now. My favourite character is Brooke. Uh, Nathan, Haley, Dan. I feel like we're all just consistently great these four could swap around depending on the episode to be honest deb i love but we need more of her in season four for sure keith i guess you'll find resting places there mouth you just uh, his relationship with rachel i didn't like care about but other than that he's a likable guy skills is great bevin is fun why is you know where he needs to be uh payton would have been up one but she kind of annoyed me and the whole relationship by the way with pete wentz that was dry for like three or four eps of that was just crap. Uh, Lucas just doesn't do anything. Ellie, yeah, Rachel, yeah, and then you can stay down there, Karen. She's going to have to do something drastic to get even in the mare, like, oh my god. But yeah, there we go. Right, we're going to jump into episode one of season four, so let's do this. Oh, Nathan. I wonder if Nathan will die. Oh, I didn't add Cooper to the list of that. Uh, who cares? He'd be in probably bomb of the barrel as well, to be fair. <laughs> Yo, Nathan, get out the car. Why did you even end up in there anyway? My name is Lucas Scott. Is it? Oh, okay. Today was supposed to be the best day of our life. But it's amazing how things can change in the blink of an eye. Oh, yeah, it was like literally their wedding day. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> in about 29 minutes. 29 minutes. 17. It was like 30. He must not have known. I mean, he couldn't have known. He did. He did know. <laughs> Cooper's gonna die. Maybe it could work, Cooper. You know, we're good together. Oh, it really is not gonna work, though, is it? It does matter. I mean, you and I never have. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Cooper Pooper. We're not seeing this whole scene again, are we? <laughs> Oh, she doesn't call 911. She sits there and screams for help. I mean, you, you never know what you're going to do in that situation, to be fair. I just don't know why Nathan sits in the back of the limo drowning. Call 911. Now. Call him. 911. Please. I mean, I guess she goes because they're at the hospital, so. Right, let's see how this works. You go in. What if they all die? Bro. Right, so you get to the back of the limo. Why? Why am I walking through the window? You again came in him. What the fuck? Oh, Lucas is here now. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro. 
Go on, Lucas, do another dart. Yeah, that wasn't as cool as Nathan's. Uh, Nathan's was way cooler than that. Just throwing that out there. Did you call 911? Oh, you did call him. Okay. Fair enough. We didn't see her call him, but sure. Well, is Rachel gonna die then? No one went in for Rachel. Jesus. Lucas, your hair changed though since the, the wedding. Did he go for a trim with Karen before? I can't find him. What do you mean? He's down there! <laughs> like, you better fucking find him, you twat! I'll oh, stop at the slow mo, bro! New intro, let's go! Chad Michael Murray! Oh, yeah, that was a badass moment. <laughs> Paul Joe Hansen! Why is Sophia Bush so far down the list? What the fuck? She should be like next to Chad Michael Murray. Oh, Antoine, let's go! Okay, Rachel's gonna be in it then, I guess. She's the main now, Jesus. Okay, that told us a lot. So Rachel's gonna be alive and fine, and she's gonna be a main character, so... I guess we're just gonna have to hope that she turns to a good character. And what else did we learn? Oh, Sophia Bush is dead far down the list. How are they there? Oh. I guess that's why they call it the waiting room. Mm. That was really not profound, Lucas. I don't think you tried to be, but you did. Not. Do not exist to me. He jump scared himself. <laughs> it's pretty scary. The wedding was enough. We needed even more attention. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> Life. He didn't, to be sure. fair. He didn't say. He didn't save anyone's life. <laughs> I guess Cooper's. He saved. Oh no! I guess, yeah, they he found. Okay, yeah, sure. But Nathan got out himself. Note from Ellie. Peyton, can you tell Joe to boost me up a tier? Bro, that is not working. It's not working. You're gonna need to repaint that. We'll get a fire hose. <laughs> shut up, you little smart ass ghost. <laughs> Dan's telling ghosts to shut up. I think he needs help. Look, I appreciate your concern for Nathan, but right now I'm just a worried father who needs to see his son. Oh, but they don't care about that. Paparazzi don't care. They want answers. Any skills. I can't, oh, yeah, and he's on the main card. Let's go. You can have loads of scenes then, surely. I've never heard you and Brooke had a little friction at the wit. Man, you know Bevin be hearing things, dog. <laughs> Bevin do be hearing things. In case Brooke decided to show up, I don't want to be standing too close to you. That's fair. That's fair. Look, Where is Brooke? Dog, call me. And try not to make out with her, please. <laughs> do try. Peyton Sawyer is a good friend. Yeah, finally. Of course she walks in at that moment. Why would she not? Sorry. Ah. <laughs> Bitch. Watch these two become dead good mates. That'd be fine with that. That'd be actually an alright storyline. No, I'm not. I told him I was pregnant. That I lied. God, do people just love to lie about being pregnant in this show? <laughs> oh. They love car crashes. And lying about pregnancies and slaps. They love they love a good slap in this show. There are three things you can guarantee with one trio. Look, the test wasn't. So no one's pregnant, apart from Karen. I'm not pregnant, okay. Okay, cool. So it's Karen and that's it. At least we don't need three pregnancies. About like Brooke, Rachel, Karen all pregnant. Just throwing Peyton in there and Bev and Meyer in the mix. Uh, Dip, do you have a minute? Dub, 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 dub. Whoa, all right, Jesus! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was so unexpected. Jesus. You don't know the hell you unleashed when you blew it. And now it's my turn. That's sort of a bitch line, by the way. I didn't just catch that. I was gonna surprise you. Damn! That was way better. 
wait to get those hospital bills, especially considering we don't have insurance. Oh, they had a dad because they wanted shots like this and wanted to be arty. <laughs> and have trauma about it. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, Nathan's <laughs> home and Rachel's awake. Where's Jake? Oh, I didn't add Jake to the list. Yeah, Shit. Jake would be Look. tier two. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Can you give a third mother? No. A third mom, no. imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Ellie wasn't your real mom. Your real, real mom is actually still alive and she lives in Orlando. If this is true. What? What? Apparently I have a brother. Oh, is it Lucas? Her brother's going to be Lucas, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, that's strange. Um, I did, so, so. Peyton's family, they just keep throwing in new family members for Peyton. We're going to need to take your statement about what happened on that bridge. I uh, got the badge, hands on the hips. So he's a cock. What about Rachel? You haven't seen her yet? I think she'll be okay. No word on Cooper yet, though. I don't think anyone cares if Cooper dies. It's so uninteresting. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe the Ravens could use another shooting guard. You want to join the Ravens? Yes. He's going to give me a scholarship. Get I'm skills on the team. Shot, Skills leads yeah. like a storyline and stuff, that'd be cool. Ha 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 ha. Watch them do a storyline where Karen and Dan hook up. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, they, technically they already have hooked up, but you know what I mean. Cooper would be better off if he died in his sleep. Every time an immature punk comes to tell my son ends up in the hospital. Yeah, true. That is true. Would it be the strangest of things if we got a cup of coffee sometime? Oh my god, it's happening. I've given up coffee through my pregnancy. Movie then? No. It's happening. This is going to happen. They are throwing this storyline out there. I know I wasn't there for you and Lucas. But you shouldn't have to raise another child on your own. <laughs> don't need your help, mate. Raise Lucas alone. Yeah. Had Keith. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Keith, yeah. No, Bird! Why would she want you to help? You know, if it wasn't Dan Scott, I'd say, oh, it's nicely offered, but it's Dan, so it's not nicely offered. What happened down there? The river? Can you tell me? Oh, I bet you saw, um, Aquaman. Bye, Cooper Pooper. I knew he was going to die. Because then she gets let off the hook as well. Uh, I bet Cooper saved Nathan. I bet Cooper woke up, saved Nathan and Rachel. So Cooper's the hero, all of a sudden. He's gonna die, he's dead, because it lets Rachel off the hook. Oh, but now suddenly she's a murderer as well. Ooh, so that's actually worse for her, possibly. If he dies, no? If he dies and they have evidence that she rammed it into the river, she'll get done for manslaughter. Is it manslaughter? I don't know. Or just for straight up murder. I, I, oh, he's about. Oh, he's about. Okay, never mind. He's fine. <laughs> I don't even know. He could go either way. He's devastated, Rachel, and it's all your fault. Uh, Haley, I saw you in the limo with Cooper. You were arguing with him, weren't you? How did you what, see what, her? <laughs> you ruined everything. You caused a huge scene at the reception. You stole the limo, and now everybody's life is worse because of you. Yeah. Uh, Does it even matter? First. So why don't you stay the hell away from us? All of us. You know, we'll be like, oh, damn, that was a bit harsh. <laughs> but she almost lost her husband because of Rachel, so I'm going to let it slide. Wasn't Brooke. Was she not pregnant? The hand is stayed for now. <laughs> but UNC is not that far away. And I'll be fine. She'll be fine. I think we can say that about Karen, like, she knows how to handle herself and I think she'll be fine, considering what she's been through. He did a good job with you. No, it's actually Keith did a good job with him, not she did. <laughs> no, she did a fine job, I'm sure. All the Karen fans come after me. You mean you moved out of Peyton's place, right? Live with me. Can Brooke, just, can Brooke just have a home? Jesus. She's a runner. Billy Squire. And I am very impressed that you have Billy Squire on your iTunes. Actually, iTunes, oh, okay. which is still a thing. It's just 
iTunes was like the Spotify. Probably the day we hit out in the library and I got shot in the leg. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that, that little bowler of a time. About that much. Every day. I wish I could take that day back for your mom and Keith. I miss Peyton's curly hair. <laughs> I wish I could take back our kiss for you and Brooke. It's not Ellie's kid, right? Mm -mm, no, he is. Someone he calls is Karen's kid. Biological father. I Lucas is a brother. No, they would <laughs> match it. <laughs> oh. No. I mean, it's not just about me. You know, it's his life to consider too. Or it would be Jake. No, I can't do that. You were just. I'd like to talk to my boyfriend. Ah. Uh, Hello. Get out. Look, I'll get those CDs later. Thanks for the sex. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Joking. Fair enough. I can't be mad at that line. I love you, Lucas. And they break these up too, like these I two up. As soon as season four starts. We go days without having meaningful conversation. And I used to miss you so much when that happened. What is the point? But when someone tells you that they somehow stopped missing you. You're pretty much screwed no matter what you say. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. Whatever, bro. See? I don't blame her. Had to be something. They haven't been close in a long time, to be fair. Something that no one had ever said in the history of the world. Something that like, what happened those scenes where they were like in the rain and he was talking to her? Where they were on the sofa? Like, what the fuck? That's just it. I'm sorry. It, that's it. After a season of being together, it's just it's done. What the fuck? That's sh so shit. Lucas didn't even try. I know he just said why he didn't try, but my lord. All we have is now, Rachel. Don't run from this. Pretty wise words from Mouth, actually, to be fair. What did you do when he didn't love you back? How did you get over it? When I do, I'll get back to you. Hey, what? So she's not over Dan? Is that what she just said? <laughs> Do you, wait, am I confused? Is she's not over Dan? Or not over the I don't know. I don't think she meant it like that, but... That's how it came across a little bit. <laughs> when I go over Dan, I'll let you know. That's kind of how it came across. And I have a best friend. Who you love. Oh no, that's <laughs> Hayley. <laughs> I hope they never try Hayley and Lucas romance. Don't ever try that shit. I'm just saying, it's like eight, nine seasons or whatever, there's possibilities are endless. I hope they'd never do that. No one needs it. Oh, you're back with the web webcam. Look at the iPod. Bro, I remember using those, Jesus. Oh, Rachel actually left. Oh, no. She's <laughs> just around the corner, man. The first thing I'd like to do is take another pregnancy test. Just to find out exactly how far along you are. Here we go. Who's having to? Okay? Oh, it's just Karen. Yeah. Everyone's got guns. That dad. This dad, yeah. Well, You're not pregnant. Definitely pregnant. Oh, with. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, bro. Bro, no. No, no, no. <laughs> was frustrated or unsatisfied or barely getting by. Ha, <laughs> she will go. Just talk to him. Is they're bringing a brother in, that I hope he's a good character. Don't be boring, please. And if you just hold on, just find the He's very thrown in there, but the day, I'll let it slide. Something to remind us that it won't always be this way. Expressive, welcome back. That someone is out there. And ha! someone will find you. Oh, we're doing this again on live. Well, Brooke's watching. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. That is episode one of One Tree Hill season four. Pretty good start into the season. There's some things I liked about this, some things that I didn't. Um, we'll start with Brooke and Lucas. I felt like they just really wanted to... I don't know if it was maybe because of what happened behind the scenes between Chad and uh, Sophia, but <clears throat> it did feel very quick, like how they just broke up. It's just like, 
oh Lucas I'm holding on for me so this is where we're ending this it's just like okay, you've been together if they'd been together for like three apps I'd let it slide a little bit but they were together for most of season three and that's it's just done now like there's no real build up to that there's no real reasoning because she said it wasn't about Peter and it's just she stopped missing him but I don't know I didn't feel that I guess we had less scenes of them too towards the end of season three but I don't know, I, just, I didn't get that feeling that they just stopped missing each other. Which, so that felt very quick. Um, like I say, maybe it was because of what happened behind the scenes. It might have been like very awkward for them to be kissing and pretending they're in a relationship on the screen. But that, you know, it sucks, but it's like they're actors. They, like, is that all part of the job? Like, did, I don't know. I guess a lot of actors go through that. That's why maybe you should just doesn't. That's maybe why you should just should just not get with co-workers when it comes to acting. Uh, if you're uh, gonna have a romance on the screen as well, like, it's probably not the best idea. But overall, I'd say this is a pretty good start to the season. Kind of like I feel like every premiere, every season, I'm like, there's some things I did like, some things I didn't like. <laughs> and this one for me was a very you know, in the same vein of that. Like there was a couple storylines I wasn't a fan of. Oh, Brooke's pregnant as well. Uh, <laughs> Great, great job, because we need two pregnancy storylines. My lord. Oh, see, why is no one just careful in this show? Why does, does, does no one... Is this, like, pre-protection era? No, it's not, but <laughs> you'd think it was. Like, no one here knows what protection is when I'm in sick. Jesus. So everyone's just pregnant now, so that's one. It's not everyone. It's literally two people, but, uh, my god. <laughs> I guess Karen maybe didn't mind so much because it's like maybe her and Keith might have wanted a baby, but I, I don't know. I, it, no, I'm going to say they didn't because they didn't speak about that. But yeah, there we go. Rating, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10. I do think it was a good episode. Actually, 7.2 out of 10. I do think it was a good episode, but just some things in there that I'm not a fan of. Uh, Owen oh, Payne as a brother. That does feel very, very thrown in. Exactly what they did with her mum actually being alive did feel thrown in. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad storyline. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But it is like, oh, it's the start of a season. What can we do with Peyton's character? Oh, she has a brother. <laughs> oh, it's the start of a season. What can we do with Peyton's character? Oh, her mum's still alive. It's like, oh, my God. Um, I guess with her mum being alive, though, they teased that at the end of season two, so it didn't feel as as abrupt. I think that's right anyway. Um, when we went in season three, but here going in season four, it does feel very abrupt. Like, oh, she has a brother, by the way. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Sure, just make him a very, very good character, and I won't mind if you bring him in and he was and he is boring. Then I'm I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like, if you enjoyed, if you want the early and uncut, the link to Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below, as well as the clips channel, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you next time for episode two. Until then, take care. Peace.